guys, and welcome to today's video. The video where I'm late to the barn. The girls are all there, and I'm late. I'm late. It's actually supposed to rain today. It's kind of cool, kind of windy. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, well, hi, Pen. <laughs> She's like, I'm waiting for food. I've been waiting for you, Laura. All right, where are my children? Where are the children, Penny? Oh, I see. <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry I was late. I had to get a sweater, and I didn't have any sweaters clean, so I had to go and get the dryer. Get a sweater out of the dryer. Wow, you've been looking cute, Willow girl. I love them all shut out, you guys. So, did you guys know that in uh, the USA, in a lot of the states, hey, Penny. school is over today. It's the last day of school. <laughs> nope, not the last day for us. But it is the last day for so many people. That's what I mean about how like things are so different. In Canada, everything's delayed because of our weather. We are all still half asleep. Look, my dog went, my horse, my dog. My horse waits for the ponies to go first. And you guys saw yesterday she ran to the gate and she looks so beautiful. All right, no penny. You show them that you don't eat the grass. No penny. Oh my god. Hey! Come on, show them how good you are. I have her so trained. Hey! <laughs> no grass until I tell you. All right, now you can have grass. Normally I make her, she's mad at me. Normally I make her walk right beside me or a little bit behind me, but when I'm filming it's harder because I, I'm i not holding her with the same, the right hand. It just changes everything. Just changes. Did you guys see Sam put all these guards on here for the fence? Actually, I like it. Oh, Gabby did them, sorry. It was all Gabby. All right, let's go, we're headed out. All right, let's see here. All right, we're headed out, but look at how good shape our mini is in. Like last year coming out of the winter, she was clip. so chubby. They're up to an hour this morning, so we're leaving them here. We'll be back to take you out. Feel free to meet us at the gate like you did yesterday. Yep. Penny's getting a run on, I can just tell. She's like, I need to run. She's walking with purpose. Penny's like, I need to eat. I need to find the perfect hay. Is she gonna run? Uh -oh. There goes Gracie. <laughs> Gracie's like, I'm coming, wait for me, even though you hate me. <laughs> I love that. I love her. I just love that pony. You guys remember how we got her? We needed a companion for the companion horse, for this horse right here. Every time we, we took- Willow for Stella. We got Willow for Stella, but then whenever we took Stella away, Willow would like give herself ulcers. So then we got Gracie for Willow, and Gracie only has, or Willow only has eyes for the lead mare. And Willow does not like Gracie. Nobody likes Gracie, but I love her. I think she's fantastic. She's such a good pony. So every couple of weeks, my youngest son, Nick, has like a scheduling problem with his, with their car. So she needs it and he needs it, and so I always, end up driving Nick to work and then she picks him up after. So, today is that day and I'm gonna go pick up Nick. It's supposed to rain and be yucky all day. Put on my seatbelt. It's Thursday and we have, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, we have three days till Trillium. So, we have to figure out like, one Saturday we have to braid and bathe and all that good stuff. So we have two days till Trillium and we have to pack our tack trunk and we have to clean up the trailer. So since it's raining, it might be a good tack trunk, pack our tack trunk day. You, you into it, Gabby? Yeah, she's like, yeah, I just I need coffee. Just give me coffee and I'll be into anything. I don't have to pack it. Yeah, next week is Sylvie's turn. We're home again and there is a detour on our road. And see how the car's driving by and our horses are just like, whatever. <laughs> Come on, Penny! Come on, Pen! Come on! They're getting stressed out. They're like, I don't wanna be done. Look how far, far down Willow is. Aww! Wow! Crazy's <laughs> like, me too! What about me? 
It is kind of terrifying, like Sophie said yesterday, to stand in a field of racing horses. I love that. That little pony is so cute. Thorn likes to psych you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Storm will psych you out. And he gets like that close, like that far away. Even Gracie's coming, but not Penny. Come on, Pen, they all left ya. Penny. Penny. I know it. Come on, Pen! Playing cold, play on repeat, watching people Come on. on the street as I go by. And Penny does not do it anymore. Right, she's not coming. Yesterday she galloped to the gate. Come on! <laughs> so, like, there's like policemen and ambulance guys and stuff all over the road. They're just watching me try and catch my horse. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Gabby's like, they're just laughing at you because my horse won't come. Watch, if I get down there. And she runs for the gate. I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, come on. Your friends are calling. Can't you hear them? You're making me look bad, Penny. Don't run from me. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Gabby's like, come on, Sophie. Let's get school started. And Sophie says, wait. I want to see how it plays out. Watch out, little ponies. Watch out. Ah. This is why I didn't wear proper shoes. Which is why I didn't want to walk through that field because I was really worried about snakes and all those people standing on the road and I'd be screaming about the snakes. Hi, Penny. <laughs> She's like, yes, Laura. Brush me. Brush me. She's pretty much shed it. She's pretty much shed out now. But it's so crazy, like, how different areas have different totally different like like it is crazy how the world is so similar in so many ways but then little things that you don't even think about like how our horses shut out later how school ends sooner in the US how it gets warm sooner in different areas like it's still it's nice here today really really nice windy it's gonna be warm it wants to be warm but there's like a really cool wind coming through I love that she is so happy. <laughs> hey, I don't know why they're so calm coming off the grass every day though. So this is what happens after the grass. After the grass, every day, all summer, they all come in here. They're standing where they can get the breeze. See the breeze blowing through Willow? You can see her hair moving. Wow, it is. <laughs> they stay here and they rest and they just relax and wear off all the sugar they just ate. But look at this, they all cock the same leg, except for Gracie. <laughs> Gracie was cocking the other one. Oh, Penny's switched. I absolutely love these ponies. I love having them at home. I love every single thing about them. I love how much they've taught me. Like, they are just such a huge blessing to our lives. Being able to watch them and see the things that they do and learn about them has been like the best experience ever. Holy heck, you guys. It is still, the fire trucks and stuff are still there from the crash. I've actually been so super tired. All right, I do not know why there's a red Teletubby. All right, back it up. Still so clean in here, I love it. Yeah, actually there's carrots in the car. I keep forgetting to take them out. Anyways, it is time to ride my horse. Ambulances, police cars, whatever it is. I need one of those carrots. Whatever. 
It's be time, time for me to ride her. The road is super busy right now because of there was an accident, so it's like a detour route. So I don't want to ride her on a detour route. I already groomed her. I've already picked her feet today because that's what we do. Don't touch it, Gab, Sophie says. <laughs> I hear her, don't you touch it. <laughs> of course, she's talking to my girl. You know she wants to. Penny, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> Did you see that? She's like, oh no. That's not true. She heard Sophie picking up the... Hi, huh, Gracie girl. You want to go for a ride too? Here go. Willow's going to jump it. Willow's going to jump that? All right, hold on. Let me get my horse first. Look. Pick up your lead rope. Do you guys see it? Like they blocked off the road so many times today. Well, I missed it. Do you want to go for a ride? Yeah. Or you want to, she's like, I'll do that. <laughs> Sophie's trying to, wait. <laughs> Sophie's trying to ask if her. <coughs> yeah, the pony will jump anything. I can't believe they've been on grass for two days now, three days, and they're still not chubby. Like usually it happens so fast. She looks so good. Like, I'm proud of that. Before I ride Penny, I am scared now <laughs> because I just was brushing her hair and she was like spooking at the spray bottle, which she calmed right out of, but still. And, but, anyways. Uh, yeah, only for a second though. But, anyways, before I ride Penny, I wanted to just uh, talk to you guys about a couple of things. So, number one. One of my friends had an injury last year on her horse and she was like doing so well on her horse until she had this injury. Um, now she's afraid and she said like I was talking to her and what she ended up saying about it was that there's this huge m misconception that if you're scared you're not good enough to ride a horse and I think it stems from people like trying to hype each other up like you're not scared you're not a true equestrian unless you get up there and be brave and and I think that's where it stems from Penny agrees <laughs> she's so calm she's just like <laughs> oh you're such a funny girl she's just listening you guys I need to do an in -hand show so like I think that that is true what she said like it's such a huge misconception being brave is being scared and doing it anyways like that is what being brave is be bravery is not life without fear bravery is being scared and doing it anyway and being scared to ride horses is such a normal thing and most of you got actually all of you guys know as equestrians that you're that you have up days and down days and all equestrian people will suffer from from days where they're super nervous or they're afraid of something a new horse or or going up a level or like there's so many things horse shows like a new trainer there are so many things that can just bring out being scared and it's okay to be scared you guys it is okay and i think that normalizing i think talking about it can help normalize it that's why i always tell you guys when i'm scared and then i do it anyway or i don't do it and then I always feel bad if I don't do it. But that is just a part of being an equestrian. It's a part of being in life. It's normal. It's normal to be afraid. Get up there and conquer your dreams and live your dreams even when you're afraid. Okay, so that's number one. Number two. Number two is... Look at how long that pony's main or forelock is. She has so much forelock. And it's and it's thick. Okay, so number two, I've seen some comments on our channel today about people who are nervous about if him, if he'll be able to stand up to being ridden. You guys see he's like super lazy and he's not like, he doesn't do a lot. So if he's not doing a lot with him purposely because we're waiting for him to gain weight and he's doing well, he's out on grass today. If I have a picture, if I, if I remember, I'll put a picture here. He's out on grass for the first time with us this summer and um, his weight is coming along great. Um, we had our massage girl come out and he she said he's a little bit stiff in the back and that we should get our chiropractor and she'll be able to it's something and she'll be able to fix him she'll be able to fix it up and she said that once we get the chiropractor he's gonna be like a whole new horse which I don't know if that's a good thing because I really like the horse that he is he started leasing chance we knew that there's gonna be a process a period of time where we were gonna have to go slow with him while he builds up and while we fix all the things that he needs fixed and we're okay with that 
Are you okay with that, Sophie? Yeah. So just bear with us and he'll be fine. There's nothing seriously wrong with him. We've had him vetted. Um, he's just a little bit stiff in the back and and our massage girl says that it, he's going to be like amazing when Sakaro comes. So. And he's not going to kill me. Yeah, and we don't think he's going to change so much that he's going to kill Sophie. Like, um, he's such a loving, just... Yeah, like he's such a good boy. Look at Penny's mane. Sophie says I need to cut it. What do you guys think? Just a little trim. No, I cut it when she first moved here. Just a little trim. I want it to be down. Yes, I did. I cut it like this much off. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go. And I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Sophie and I at lunging. I know we're not I, perfect I'm at riding. You. Yeah, you're better than me. You can't even make There's so many things we have to know and do and learn and be better at. And it's okay to be learning. And it's especially okay to try even when you're scared. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 